I think normally I'm a pretty ethical reviewer. I try to be honest about the upsides and downsides of each product. And I don't like to accept anything I don't think I can help the company sell a lot of if it is good. This time though, oh boy, I messed up. Holy Land makes video gear and they sent me their Love 150 Love Mic kit months and months ago to unbox and review on camera. But before I got a chance, my Rode mic batteries died when I was shooting something else. So I carefully took the Love 150 out of the box, saving everything and telling myself I would carefully put it back in the box when I was done and do a proper review. And I did. I was very good, I put it carefully back in the box. And then I took it back out the next time I shot because it was so small and convenient to use. And so on, until several months went by and you've seen me using the Lab 150 in every video since then. Poor Holyland never got their review since I was too busy enjoying their review unit. Yes, I know I'm terribly unprofessional, so long story short, the Lark 150 is what I use now. I highly recommend it. Let me show you why. First off, I'm recording right now with an Instamic. Instamic is the worst, most useful microphone I own. You've seen me review this in the past. The link is in the description box. It's incredibly useful because it records audio locally onto the device itself. So I can use it with any camera setup and don't have to worry about wireless interference. It's the worst because the firmware is a nightmare. The controls are difficult to use and one out of my two units have died and seems to be unrecoverable. It does something no other equipment I have does, but it's a real pain to use and I hope Instamic or someone else makes something this size that's more user friendly. This is my Ceremonic Blank. Great size, has the option of connecting to your phone, but I have to reshoot two videos because halfway through the audio started cutting in and out for no reason. I don't have a camera person most of the time. I shoot my video on tripod. I can monitor audio while I work to make sure it doesn't have problems. If a lab mic system can be rock solid in my studio, I just can't use it. This is the Rogueling Filmmaker Kit. I've shot with this for years. It's very reliable, takes AA batteries, sounds good, but it's pretty large and clunky. Still, it served me well, so I can't really say anything bad about it other than it's a bit bulky compared to newer options. This is the Holland Lock 150, what I'm using these days. The case doubles as a charger, has Lego pogo pins inside, so you can just drop them in and now it starts charging. You take them out and they start broadcasting, easy peasy. It comes with two transmitters, either for two people or to allow one to charge while you use the other. The Lock 150 synced up instantly out of the box, which the Road and Ceremonic did not. They took a bit of fiddling. The build quality of the Lark is, in my opinion, the best out of all of this. Okay, now for some tests. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Rolling Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Rolling Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Ceremonic Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Ceremonic Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Hollyland Lark 150 Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Hollyland Lark 150 Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Road Link Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Road Link Lavalier microphone. This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Ceremonic Lavalier. This is I'm testing the Ceremonic This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Holyland Lark 150 Lavalier microphone. 
This is Naomi Wu. I'm testing the Holy Land Lark 150 Lavalier microphone. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Final verdict on the Lark 150 counts. The transmitter it's a little too square. The more rounded shape of the ceremonic is easier to hide and close. I really, really wish it had local audio recording capability for when I'm using my equipment like my 360 cameras without a microphone jack. But honestly, not a lot of cons. Pros, battery life is great. When the battery finally dies, I just use the other lab mic Audio quality is great, they are easy, and they work without a lot of fiddling about. The lab 150 transmitters are much smaller than my Rode Filmmaker kit, so I don't need to use the external microphone, like the Ceremonix. I've never lost any video due to unexplained audio dropout. Unlike the instant mic, there is no firmware issues or hard to use controls. Is the lab 150 perfect in every way? No, but it does more of what I need with less fuss than anything else i found on the market so far. I'm a one-woman show. I don't have time for fiddly equipment. I need it to just work every time, and they've done that for me. If you'd like to buy the Live 150, I'll leave a link in the description box. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.